What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the very first modification to the 2012 GMC Denali Duramax. As you guys saw in my little reveal video, we've got the old style tow mirrors on this truck. And you guys know that I work with Boost Auto Parts. I've been in partners with them for a very, very long time. And they've hooked me up with a brand new set of their 2015 style tow mirrors so we're going to swap that over on this truck and it's going to look so so much better so fun fact about this truck it actually came out with the small mirrors and it actually came out with power folding mirrors from the factory somebody went ahead and changed that to these manual folding tow mirrors uh, which i don't blame them i mean the tow mirrors definitely come in handy definitely look better and uh honestly they've uh they got rid of the power fold feature. I guess they switched out the, the switch panel. I'm not really quite sure. Uh, but Boost Auto sent over this little care package. I uh, built a set of mirrors and uh, told them you know, what I wanted to do. And they were very willing to uh, work with me and send me out this set of mirrors. Uh, so we're going to get this thing opened up and I'll show you what features we got. And you guys know I talk Boost Auto up very very much boost auto has been just always amazing to work with customer service always you know very on point very friendly very very helpful uh, but we've got this package of goodies from boost auto we've got the wire harness we've got a new magnet so kind of like rock auto you get magnets with boost auto parts i love these um, so we've got this package of goodies and uh, what's cool is this is actually wireless transmitters and we're going to make our truck have power fold mirrors. So you could do the power folding mirrors on the older trucks. So the, uh, you know, this body style here, what is it, 20 or 2007 to 2013, uh, you could actually add the power fold mirrors. And remember when you order tow mirrors from Boost Auto Parts, they literally build them right there in house. So they build these mirrors in house, um, you know, just with the specs that you, add to your mirrors uh, so I ordered mirrors spec with the chrome caps now honestly I think the chrome caps are going to look good but I think I might have the caps wrapped in a gloss black so I got the black plastic of course chrome caps I got the smoked out light because you know the cab lights are already smoked out um, I'm going to do like a smoked kind of blacked out uh, look on this truck so the smoked mirror lights are going to come in handy and I, uh, I'm going to keep the amber so I opted instead of for switchbacks um, like I have on my white OBS I opted just for the sequential amber strip uh, with the with the uh, startup feature so we're gonna look over that that's gonna be really cool and also on these specific mirrors I opted for the heated upper and lower glass so these mirrors just have a heated upper glass these are gonna have a heated upper and a heated lower glass as well as the high output reverse light and we've got the entire wiring harness everything we need to get these things put together and really the functionality is for the most part plug-and-play um, you do have to do a little bit of running wires uh, these harnesses here you have to run these harnesses uh, across from one side to the other splice those together and uh, you know that creates where your mirrors light up and then we actually have some fuse taps we're going to run into the fuse box which is just right here so we're going to run that through the firewall into the fuse box and that's what we're going to activate the uh, reverse light as well as all the lighting functions on the mirrors as far as taking this apart um, this is not going to be like a full install video. Uh, Boost Auto has a very, very informative video on how to take your interior panels apart. Uh, so I'm going to link that down in the description if you guys purchase a set of mirrors and you need to know how to install them. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go over it a little bit. You do have to remove a couple of 10 millimeter screws. So we've got a little panel right here. Got to take that off. We got a panel right here. We got to take that off. And that exposes like four 10 millimeter screws. Take off the little door lock and uh, then everything should be able to be unclipped from the door panel uh, so not really terrible to do and then also this comes off as well so gives you access to the entirety of the door panels now you want to use some plastic trim panel tools because we don't want to scar up scar up drop or damage any of our interior
right, door panels are a very love-hate relationship for me. Mostly hate, uh, but got that off. So we're going to check out this insulation here, which looks like somebody's attached it with like hot glue or something. So kind of odd, but anyway, take out our little foam piece here. And we've got our nuts for our mirror. And of course we're gonna have to peel this back because we need to get to that mirror harness. And just like that, we've got the mirror removed from the truck. So we're gonna take this and set this down here. Still a good set of mirrors. So somebody could definitely use these. I'll probably sell those off. Uh, but we're going to get our boost mirrors and get these uh, routed into the truck and installed. All right, one side mounted up already looks so much better with the new style mirrors. It just, it's crazy what these new style mirrors can do. And the quality, you know, the quality just feels so much better than these. I don't know if these are stock GM or aftermarket, uh, but the quality on the boost mirror is just, it's just so much better. Uh, but yeah, fitment, great as usual. Everything's nice and tight. Uh, I've got two out of our three, uh, nuts here. I'm going to have to find another one of those somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we got the mirror mounted up. So now we're going to work on wiring and I'm going to refer to the boost auto parts video for that. All right. So both mirrors are mounted up. Uh, the wiring from that mirror has been ran underneath the dash through the center console and up here. And so all the wires are together. So now we're working on splicing everything together. So we splice the ground. Uh, the ground is tapped back there onto that nut. Um, obviously I'm gonna have to clean that wiring up. Uh, we're splicing the two whites together, then the two oranges together, and then that's gonna run through the firewall. Now to splice these, I'm using these guys. Super easy to use, just to get a heat gun, the solder just spreads and it seals them uh, really nicely. All right, so this has been the hardest part of the process so far, was fishing these wires through the firewall. There's a grommet way down there, you could see um, that you, it's the only one you can get to from the inside and you have to push the wires through there but you have to have something a little bit sharp because you got to make a little hole all right so fuse taps are installed we've got the orange wire tapped into the parking lights i think yeah one of the parking lights and then we've got the backup lights attached to the fuse called trailer backup or trailer reverse or whatever uh, so the fuse taps make that nice and easy all right so we've got our park lights that side works and that side works looking looking so good too let us see if the turn signals work mm, uh, i don't have anything plugged into the mirrors yet hold on all right ladies and gentlemen it is just about getting dark and the install is complete it did take me a little bit to figure out everything and make sure everything worked 100 percent i had to uh you know, get the door panel put together and take it apart a couple of times and uh, check some work and switch some things around. But they are both on the truck and both 100% fully functional. Here is the startup sequence on the lights. Check that out again. Pretty cool. It's also got the high output reverse light. Comes on when I unlock the door. I lock the door goes back off and also comes on when I put the truck in reverse now uh, we do have the power fold function that light is bright so anyway I'm going to try to see if we could do this and uh, make this work so you hit the left mirror left left right right hit up and check that out both of them are now unfolded and ready for driving now it's the same thing to fold them back in left left right right when you hear the beep you hit the down button and it folds it back in the uh, little timer on there does go off after like 10 seconds of not being used uh, but pretty freaking cool to add power fold to your truck that doesn't have power fold uh, with those little wireless ecus there's one module in each door plugged up zip tied to the door panel and that's how it works wirelessly communicates with each other through those ecms or ecus so pretty freaking cool feature once again by boost auto those backup lights are just crazy bright you can see them on the truck back here high output reverse lights on these things absolutely killer 
But yeah, that is all there is to it. Not a horrible process. It just is a little bit time consuming, especially if you're running wires, trying to tuck the wires, hide the wires, all that stuff. And uh, if your first time doing it. But like I said, thank you to Boost Auto Parts for the instructional video. Extremely, extremely helpful. And thank you to Boost Auto Parts for sending these mirrors over for this truck. Uh, they look, it looks so much better. Just so clean. I really actually like the chrome. I might have it changed to black at some point, but right now I really like the chrome. Uh, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and fire up. Love that little startup welcome feature. Check out the turn signals while we're here. Guess it doesn't work without the key. Hazard lights override the remote start but here is the glass here is the sequential front turn signal and that is it guys boost auto parts power folding tow mirrors if this video helped you guys out in any way or if you just found it entertaining please feel free to go down below and hit that like button for me subscribe for more obs and duramax content lots more good stuff on the way i can't wait to add some more stuff to this truck uh, once again huge shout out to boost auto parts i'm gonna have their link in the description hit them up for all of your tow mirror needs you can build them inspect them out pretty much any way you want to any way you need to everybody have a good night have a good week and we'll see you all in the next video